Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, August 18th. You are joining us live behind the lights and cameras of the TV show Wake Up, Explore Your Passion to hear the personal successes and real challenges in the pursuit of a dream right here in Hollywood. This is Wake Up Radio. Good morning, everybody. I'm your host, Ryan Ray, and joining me live right here beside me is my co-host, Mr. Fuzz Edwards. How are you this morning, Fuzz? I'm doing fantastic, Ryan, and we want to remind all our viewers and listeners that if you have a question or a comment about something that you hear on the show, please give us a call at 646-727-3841. That's 646-727-3841. Absolutely. And as always, we always love having you join us live in the chat room this morning. Thank you for signing in, everyone joining us. Live via Skype this morning is Chris Gillibo. How are you, Chris? I'm doing great, Ryan. How are you guys? Oh, doing fantastic, man. Great to see you and hear you. Did I pronounce your name correctly? That was perfect. Well done. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris, for being here. Tell us, Chris, a little bit about what it is that you're all about. Uh, well, first of all, thanks for having me. Yeah, and definitely. second of all, you know, what it's about, um, basically, The Art of Nonconformity is a blog and a book, a business, um, a whole network, but really a community of uh, people who want to live unconventional, remarkable lives. So I try not to be uh, too, too more specific than that because, uh, you know, the, the audience, um, the community is really quite diverse. They're all over the world. Um, it's about 30,000 people right now. Um, some of them are entrepreneurs. Some of them are aid workers. Um, some of them are students. Um, a lot of people are just trying to figure out like what they really want to do and how they can how they can make that happen. So, um, I've really been fortunate to uh, you know have have started this site and and to uh, connect with so many people. And the project is much better now um, because of all the people who have gotten involved. So, um, I'm I'm sort of the head of it, but mostly I'm just trying to coordinate um, what all kinds of awesome people are doing. Well, there's so, there's so much synergy between what you're doing and what we do here at Wake Up TV, and I think that's one of the reasons, that is the reason that I wanted to have you on the show. You've just gotten back, secondly, not not to mention, you're also a big fan of travel, which uh, touches near and dear to my heart. You just got back from Thailand? Uh, yeah, the most recent trip was uh, to Algeria, Belarus, and, and Thailand on the way back. So I have a personal goal of trying to visit every country in the world. I've been doing that for about about 10 years now I've got about three years left on the goal so and how so many I've done hundred and four yeah how yeah, many countries do you have left countries, uh, yeah about uh, about uh, 150 done so far uh, and 42 remain so it gets a little bit more difficult it gets progressively more difficult as you get towards the end um, but so far so good <laughs> Wow, that's pretty fantastic man I, I, I would I'm very envious of that goal as a matter of fact it's certainly something that I I personally would be interested in pursuing I have to ask you these countries that you're now visiting at the end of the list um, what are some of the most exotic some of the most obscure places and things that you've seen on your journey Sure. Um, well, I, I've been been a lot of places. Uh, I mean, just in the nature of, of traveling for more than ten years. Uh, I worked in West Africa for about four years, so I was living in Liberia and Sierra Leone uh, for for a year each, and then um, two years in some other countries in the region. So that was really fantastic. Um, now, just in terms of travel, I'm, I'm starting to get out to you know a little bit more exotic places, as you say, um, in the South Pacific and Central Asia. Um, I just got back from Kazakhstan recently. Uh, so that was good. Uh, and now it's just, like I say, coming down to places like North Korea, uh, Libya, Syria, Cuba, etc. So it's a bunch of fun little places coming up. <laughs> North Korea. I was gonna, yeah, fun places. I'm assuming that maybe it's because of the, the political things and you're having, there's quite a bit of work trying to just make that trip into those places, correct? Yeah, the logistics are a big part of it. Uh, yeah. I definitely spent a lot of time, like, Figuring out how to actually get there, and then how to get a visa there. And many of those, many of those countries, there's a long waiting list for a visa. Uh, most people who go there usually have a good reason to be going there, and I really don't. I'm just going there to, <laughs> to write, and to travel. Um, so that so that can be a little bit awkward sometimes with the embassy. Um, but you know, as I said, so far so good. I mean, I've been in a lot of places. I've been to to Iraq, um, Algeria last week was a little bit tough, but we we pulled it out. So so far so good. Good, good, excellent. Well, you know, we're all about exploring possibility here, and one of the things that I always talk about is uh, is that whether when you think something is not possible, there's always a way. There, when there's a will, there's a way. I believe that to the to my core, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, some people would say what you're doing with visiting every country is a little bit impossible, but it's not. Also, I think something else that people think is quite often impossible, that is making money doing what you love, making money following your dream. And and let's just be clear about this. You make money, you make your living 
doing what you love, your blog. I do, yeah. I'm, I'm fortunate to work as a full-time writer. I've been doing that for, um, I've, I've had the blog for about two and a half years. And when I first started the blog, I really didn't have any monetization strategy. Um, it wasn't very strategic at all. It was just like I wanted to write about my trips and about what I'm doing. And then that kind of the, the monetization kind of developed along the way. Um, as I noticed, people kept asking the same kind of questions. Um, they asked questions about like, how have you worked as an entrepreneur in the past? How have you started small businesses? Um, also, how do you do the travel? How do you book the tickets? And how does that work? Those are those are really big topics. Um, and so I started creating what I call unconventional guides um, to kind of provide the answer for that. So I have a what I call like a 90-10 business model where 90% of my work is, is available for free and then 10% then is paid for, for people who want it. So it's kind of the opposite of what it used to be. Like there used to be like a 10% thing and the whole goal was to kind of you know get people to, to join with the 90%. But I'm, I'm really fortunate that I can do most of my work for free and then I also have the business on the side so it works well. Wow. Yeah, great model. I mean, if you can give something away for free, that's always better than, I think, than making people pay, especially if you can do that and still be profitable. Um, you, What were some of the jobs that you held before you started working as a professional blogger? Is sure. writing in your past? Um, I think writing kind of developed, um, well, well let's, let's go back about 10 years ago. About 10 years ago, um, I worked my last job. Um, at the age of 20 where I was working at FedEx um, on the third shift like m moving boxes around um, so that was that was about what you would expect it to be and um, I didn't really like it I wasn't a very good employee and so I ended up starting my first business then um, this was a long time ago in the early days of eBay so I became a coffee importer so I imported coffee from Jamaica and then sold it to other wholesalers and distributors kind of learned how to do that um, out of that situation I learned to do web design uh, a lot of business consulting uh, in the early days of Google, I did some stuff with Google AdWords and AdSense. Um, so nothing highly strategic. Again, uh, I wasn't really building a huge business or anything. It was just like um, finding a way to support me so that I could do what I was passionate about. Um, and that included like going to live in West Africa for four years, um, then you know going to grad school and finding a way to pay for that without going into debt. Um, and then now the kind of journey to every country in the world. So I've always just kind of done, you know, whatever I could do to find a way to support whatever I was really, really passionate about. All right. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about how you got started, some of the challenges that Chris faced in the very beginning of his business online, and, uh, and of course, some tips and tricks for other entrepreneurs who want to do the same. Stay with us here on Wake Up Radio. We'll be right back. <laughs> 